Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to take a very quick look at POCO's best-selling devices, the POCO F5 as well as the X5 Pro 5G. Now it's been a couple of months since these devices have been released, but with the POCO Carnival on the way, or I should say currently running, there's actually quite a fair bit of promotions going for these devices and the price for them are even lower than ever. So the question here is today, right now, after so many months of launching, are these POCO devices still worth your money today and does it still perform Perform up to its standards. Let's find out in today's video right away. Alright guys, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at two of POCO's best-selling smartphones, the POCO F5 as well as the X5 Pro 5G. Now we're going to take a look at this one first because I think this is actually a very, very popular device, the POCO F5 5G, still offering one of the best values today for just 1,400 ringgit ish you're getting a very strong package here. Let's take a look at this device. Now let's flip the phone to the front and first and foremost, you'll notice that we have here a very beautiful flat display. This here is a 6.67 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display that is actually super punchy. And the best part here is that this is 120 hertz, so you can see that everything is going to be very, very smooth. I actually have a lot of games installed in here and that's because this is actually my primary gaming phone. And another thing that gamers will definitely appreciate very much is that this display is flat guys that means there is no curves on the sides that will actually affect you when you are playing your games check out how flat this display is it's very comfortable to use and very good for gaming speaking about gaming the power it has in here is actually a lot right here you notice that we do have the snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 and again this is the most powerful mid-range processor that you can get in malaysia right now snapdragon 7 plus gen 2 definitely kills away every single mid-range phone that is in the market today and even some more expensive flagship devices so very very powerful here my device here comes with 12 gigabytes of ram but of course there's a lower 8 gigabyte ram version and it also comes with 256 gigabytes of internal memory now in terms of the cameras at the back we do get a 64 megapixel camera over here as you can see at the top left corner it has a, a very interesting combination of an 8 megapixel ultra wide as well as a 2 megapixel macro lens i would say that the main sensor here is the one to take note of and i was actually taking a couple of photos the other day and even after multiple months we are having a lot of updates that has come to the POCO F5 to make the pictures coming out for this phone even better. Last but not least, in terms of the battery, we do have here a 5000mAh battery on board and 67 watt fast charge that makes the device go from 0 to 100% in slightly more than 45 minutes. So very, very fast charging for the POCO F5. Overall, this is a fantastic mid-range device, the most powerful one in the market today. If you want to go by the price, just slightly more than 1,400 ringgit, totally no-brainer if you are looking for the best value mid range smartphone. Right, let's move on to the uh, POCO X5 Pro 5G. This device comes in multiple different colors and what's powering the POCO X5 Pro 5G here is actually the Snapdragon 778G 5G. That is actually a very long lasting, you know, proven processor that is great for gaming as well and it is slightly more affordable in case you are looking for a, you know, a tighter budget or something like that. It is only slightly uh, approximately 1,100 ringgit and again, this is actually more affordable than the POCO F5. So if you are on a tighter budget and you still want a lot of performance this is the device to check out all right let's put the device to the front and take a look at the display again the display that we have here is actually very similar to the one on the poco f5 it also comes in at 6.67 inches amoled display 120 hertz again everything is very very smooth here and it also has the flat display that is great for gamers now with that amount of power the snapdragon 778g you'll be able to play all your kind of favorite games i've been playing a lot of wild rift and it has been very smooth so far for me on the poco x5 pro in terms of the battery in the back here it's actually similar to the one on the poco f5 you also get a 5000 mAh battery in this rather sort of like not so thick kind of form factor and you also get the same 67 watt fast charge that also does 0 to 100 percent in approximately 45 minutes the main difference here is actually in the cameras here because this is actually housing a 108 megapixel main camera that means that you'll be able to capture a lot of details and it also comes with the same 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro lens so overall these are the two top selling devices from poco very very strong offerings the best and most powerful mid-range device in the market the poco f5 if you want maximum power for a very affordable price of under 1,500 ringgit, this is the most powerful one that you can get today. However, if you are on a tighter budget and your budget is only slightly more than 1,000 ringgit, the POCO X5 Pro 5G here is also a very solid offering that you can check out. Anyway, with POCO's Carnival on the way, uh, you can see the link down below. There's actually a couple of promotions going on, not, for, not only for these devices, but also for other devices. So you can check out the links below if you are in the market looking for a brand new POCO device and you want to get the best deals. 
With that said, thank you for checking out this very quick you know, video on the Poco devices. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.